In this video, I want to show you how you can use this AI content writer known as Mark Copy to produce a full blog post in minutes. We're going to run you through the whole process. If you're interested in seeing how we use other AI content writers on this channel to produce blog posts, then there's a link in the description that you can hit that will take you to our playlist. You'll be able to see all of the different platforms we've used in order to produce blog posts but for now let's get started with mark copy first thing we're going to do then is we're going to find ourselves here on the dashboard when we log in and it's down to templates where we want to head if we go here and we scroll down you can see they've got all the different templates and they're color coded so it's easy to see where they fall as we're writing a blog we can head straight over to the blog subheading so you can see all of the different subcategories or subheadings that the tools within mark copy fall under uh, now, if you just want to use one of these tools, you can click on to blog intro, blog idea, meta description, but we want a full blog post, so we're going to click over here. Once that's done, then the editor's going to load up, and you can see you've got a huge amount of different things you can do inside the editor, inside this tool. And because it's cloud-based, as long as you've got the auto save on, your work is always being saved, which means as long as you can access the internet, get into your account, you can work from anywhere. The other thing I really like about Mark Copy when it comes to producing a full, full blog post, which a lot of copywriters don't do, is uh, with AI copywriters, is it's got this SEO tab. And this means we can put a keyword that we want to focus on and make sure that as we're writing and as the AI is working, we're trying to get this score as high as possible and tick all the boxes when it comes to SEO. Now, this is not going to cover everything. For those of you that know SEO really, really well, you'll know that there's more that needs to be done. But if you're a beginner and you're just starting out with a blog or you're just starting with copywriting, then this is a really good tool to get you started. So what I've got here in my notes is this is the blog topic or question I'm going to answer today. Okay, can Venice mountain dogs live in hot climate? So this is my keyword here. So I'm just going to copy that and come over here and put it in as my primary keyword. Then I search for keywords and the AI is going to start working. And you can see here if I upgrade, or I'm, I'm on the free account at the moment, then we'll get more keyword recommendations. But for now, I'm just going to select the one that I have picked. And I've got the keyword in there. And then all we're going to do is going to work through the tool and try and get that score as high as possible. So now we're going to go over to general and all those tools you saw before in the menu, we can work through them here instead. So first of all, I'm going to go for my title. So if I just go back to my notes, this is the title that I want to start with. So what's going to happen is I need to give the tool, the AI tool, a little bit of information and it's going to come up with a full title. So you can see here that it wants me um, to extend the text for better results in hot climates with long hair okay because if you have not seen any mountain dog i think i've got one here for us yeah nice cute picture look you can see they're quite a long hair breed so there might be some countries that they wouldn't be able to um, live in very comfortably so now i've got the three green bars here at the bottom i've got 62 of my 120 characters used i can hit generate now what happens is every time i hit generate I'm going to use up what's called a run. So you can see at the moment I've got 480 runs in my account. And if I hit generate, that's going to use up one of my runs. But what it is going to do is it's going to create a huge number of titles for me. So you can see here it's taken my exact title, which means it probably thinks it's quite good. We've got hot temperatures, hot climates, and these are all the different titles that it's come up with. So three mistakes, that's quite an interesting one. So we just go through and we pick one of these. It's quite like this one. This article will help you decide a little bit of a call to action to come in and pick it. So we're gonna hit add to post and there is our title. Now that we've got the title done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in the outline and the outline can give us our, our structure um, of what our different paragraphs would be. We'll put in our introduction as well and we'll put our paragraph but you can see our SEO score has gone up already because we put the keyword in the title okay so uh, we'll move on to the next part then so you can see here our, our topic is still in there 
and I'm going to generate my introduction. So every time you see this come up, that means that the AI is working and it's going to give us again some suggestions of introductions we could use in our article. OK, so we would just pick through these, have a look and find out which one we liked. Now, as you're working through, you get these generates, which is generating content, but you also have a word limit as well. So just be aware that if you're picking longer outputs, that's actually going to mean that you um, will use up some of your words uh, quicker than others. So I'm just going to go with the top one here. I've only had a quick scan. I don't want to be spending a huge amount of time on this. And that's my introduction done. So what we're going to do now, uh, you can see here that this is my word limit at the moment. So every time I copy something and I move it over into my article, my word limit will go down. Let's go on to my outline then. So I'm just going to stick with the same topic. We're going to hit generate and we're going to get the outline and you can think of the outline as the headings okay so we want to be thinking about hot climates so we're going to pick some of these so it's got the different coats and how well it copes with the heat so we'll just pick through some of these okay so if you like any of these now you can copy a few of these across and cut them, uh, cut them up so i might want to take some of um some of these and some of these uh, headings and um, match them together or I could just hit generate more if none of them work for what I'm trying to uh, produce so I can go through um, and as you can see we put some more of these so what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to uh, pause the video export a couple of these uh, outlines because I can see a few um, from this one and a few from the others I'd like to take and then I'm going to uh, cut this down and then we'll move on to the next part. OK, so what I've done, if I just go back to uh, the outline, I just exported a couple of these examples. And then what I did was I've just narrowed it down to these four that I want to work on. So what I'm going to do now is uh, for each of these outlines here, I can think of them as a heading to a paragraph. And now I want to produce that paragraph. So now I want to write a paragraph to answer the question why Bernice Manton dogs have long hair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here to paragraph. I'm going to cut and paste in the question there and I'm going to hit generate. You can see my runs have gone down. And that is then going to use the AI as it's done before. But this time it's going to hopefully produce a paragraph which will be able to give me some information about the hair. So that's in there. And then we can go back again because I haven't changed the question. And then I might be able to pick another uh, paragraph. Um, so I'm going to uh, add this one as well. And then what I'd be able to do is I would be able to go through and I would be able to um, change this up, move things around and just make sure I'm happy with it. So this is a really um, good place to say that you shouldn't just cut and paste and use AI content like this, AI generated content, you should always be fact checking. You should be always be making sure that what you are writing is accurate and it's your responsibility that what you put onto the internet is correct, what you put onto your blog is correct. So don't just take um, this as it is. You need to make sure that you go through it and everything is accurate and you want to put your own spin on things as well. So all I would do then for ex uh, the same as I've done before, just head over to paragraph. This time I'm going to change the paragraph. Uh, I'm going to hit generate more. It's going to take the new outline or new heading that I've got there and it's going to do exactly the same thing for me. It's going to analyze that, use the AI, and then it's going to come up with another paragraph. So let's say I want to use that one there and I just repeat the process over and over again. The last thing I want to do then is with any blog is you'll want to put a conclusion. Now I've spoken to the team at Mark Copy and they don't actually have a conclusion tool at the moment, but they are planning on putting one in. If I head over here now, you can see the SEO score is at 80. And what I can do is I can go through, just see where I haven't put things in. So obviously I haven't made it long enough and we need to put a couple of links in, which I would do at the end, but it's getting higher and higher with the SEO as I work through. So that's a rough outline of how to use this tool. If you want to see more ways that you can use Mark Copy in your business or in blog writing, then you should be able to see a playlist that's popped up on the screen now. All you've got to do is click that and you'll be able to see all our Mark Copy videos on the channel. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, consider subscribing, liking the video, leave us a comment and we'll see you in the next one.